Maurice. Amazing Maurice. The Amazing Maurice, an inside look at the voices behind the story. The Amazing Maurice has a large cast of main characters, including one cunning cat, two humans, five clever rats, a deranged Pied Piper, and a villain who personifies the rage of all the rats combined. The producer Robert Chandler was successful in recruiting an outstanding cast, and the combination of their voices, the art director's colorful vision for the film, the work of the animators, and director Toby's capacity to convey both the lightheartedness and the gravitas of the narrative resulted in an extraordinary manner in which the film came to life on screen. Thus, keep watching to find out more about this amazing movie. An inside look at the voices behind the story. As was said before, one of the aspects of the advertising for this movie that has really stood out has been the cast list. An amazing cast is one of the most important factors in determining whether or not an animated movie will be successful at the box office. This has been shown by the likes of Sing and, more recently, The Bad Guys. The casting staff for The Amazing Maurice has undoubtedly taken this into consideration, as seen by the lengthy list of stars that may serve as the basis for its very own walk of fame. Hugh Laurie plays the lead role of Maurice, and he is joined by a cast that includes Amelia Clark in the role of Militia, David Thewlis providing the voice of Bossman, Himesh Patel in the role of Keith, and Gemma Arterton in the role of Peaches. Of course, this is just a tiny portion of the star-studded ensemble, which also includes notable actors such as David Tennant, Joe Sugg, and Rob Brydon. The Amazing Maurice, which has such a significant quantity of talented people working on it, not only has the potential to be one of the most exciting animated films that will be released in the coming weeks and months, but it also serves as a tribute to how good Terry Pratchett's work is. Also, to think that so many of these performers would have leaped at the opportunity to voice one of his renowned characters only goes to show how brilliant the guy who developed them was. You'll never fit through! Like a cat! If my head fits, the rest will follow! <sighs> the movie features the voices of Amelia Clark and Hugh Laurie. As mentioned, Hugh Laurie and Amelia Clark, both of whom are well-known actors in the United States, have just been added to the voice cast of The Amazing Maurice, which is a film version of Terry Pratchett's novel The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents. According to Variety, other notable actors such as David Thewlis, Gemma Arterton, and Hugh Bonneville will provide their voices to characters in the upcoming animated movie. This book by Terry Pratchett, which was first released in 2001, is a part of the author's renowned Discworld series. The well-known fairy tale of the Pied Piper of Hamelin is retold in The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents, which is a retelling of the story. It was awarded the Carnegie Medal, which is given to the book that is deemed to be the greatest children's book in the United Kingdom. The protagonist of this story is a savvy ginger cat who has devised the ideal scheme for getting money. He becomes pals with the little boy who plays the pipe, and he also has his very own horde of talking rats that he befriends. As soon as they get to the devastated village of Bad Blintz, their con game starts to go horribly wrong. The movie will have Toby Gankel and Florian Westerman working as co-directors. The movie is being produced by Sky in collaboration with the German business Ulysses Film Production and the Hamburg-based animation outfit Studio Raquette as well as the United Kingdom's Cantilever Media and the animation studio Red Star Animation, all of which are located in Sheffield. Also, it is being developed with the assistance of the Terry Pratchett estate, and it is being produced in cooperation with the production business that Pratchett founded, Narrativia. How do the rats and Maurice communicate with one another? The narrative starts with a tale, which is subsequently retold as a narrative in order to define the story that is now taking place. It is a children's novel called Mr. Bunsey Has an Adventure, and it is being used to describe a paradisiacal paradise that some of the rats have imagined for themselves. They are under the impression that Maurice would be the one to guide them to their destination since he is the only one who is familiar with the route. The story centers on Maurice, a talking rat, who has the capacity to converse with other talking rats and a human named Keith. As a result of the peculiar circumstances in which they find themselves, Maurice, the rats, and Keith have come to the consensus that they will band together and work hard in order to amass sufficient funds with which to purchase a boat that will take them to a land in which humans and other talking animals live together in harmony. As a result, all of the rats conspire with Maurice and Keith 
and the first act as if they have infested the town in order to frighten the people who live there. Following this, Keith comes along with his flute-playing skills, impersonating the legend of the Pied Piper, and lures all of the rats out of the house while Maurice collects payment for the show. In this manner, they will always have a reliable source of revenue. Because Maurice, the talking cat, is so adamant about not hunting anything else that can talk as well, and because he makes this point abundantly clear at various intervals throughout the film, the rats are able to put their faith in Maurice and know that they are safe while they are working with him. This tried and tested method of scamming the village folk and townsmen works quite well for the troop. On the other hand, due to the rats developing a conscience, there are some little tiffs here and there among the troop as the rats prepare to be averse to scamming the humans. Did the rats get to live on Paradise Island? When the group of travelers initially came upon the unusual town, they were excited since it had a marketplace. However, after speaking with Militia, one of the locals, they learned that the village was suffering from a severe food shortage. Militia, the daughter of the local mayor, leaped at the opportunity of an adventure similar to those that she had read about in innumerable novels. She had no problem understanding the talking rats or Maurice, and she immediately set out on a journey to find out what was causing the starvation. When she got to the home where the mouse traps were kept, with the aid of the sardines, she located the entrance to the trap and then she discovered the food supply that had been absent from all of the other houses. But here's where things take an unexpected turn. As the rats raced toward Keith to tell him about the cages, the two bad guys grabbed all of them and put them in their cages. They are imprisoned, and the only person who can save them is Maurice, who managed to get away from the situation. First, Maurice saves the rats, then he saves the people. During the rescue of the rats, the humans explain to the rats that Mr. Bunsey has an adventure is simply a story. Peaches try to escape her torment, but dangerous beings are hot on her trail. They are captured by the Rat King, which leads to a conflict between the rats, Maurice, and the Rat King. Meanwhile, Keith and Militia get the Pied Piper flute in order to distract the regular rats from the Rat King. During the fight, both dangerous beings and Maurice lose their lives. Maurice attempts to rescue dangerous beings, but since cats have nine lives and he only has six left, he gives up two of his to assist dangerous beings. Dangerous beings survive the battle. Maurice does not. This event wins over the hearts and minds of the citizens of the town, and as a result, they contribute to the construction of a dwelling in which the rat community may reside and raise their offspring alongside the humans and other talking animals. In spite of the fact that the location mentioned in the book did not exist, the group was ultimately successful in creating their very own paradise in which they could reside. And that's it. Share your opinions on the film and whether or not you like the voiceovers in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Click the subscribe button and see you in the following video.